to build a 20 by 46 standard rink, you will need some basic iron sleek components, some lumber, and some tools. A typical 20 by 46 foot rink would have 24 iron sleek brackets, two installation tools, four iron sleek corners, four iron sleek extension brackets, and a white liner or tarp. For this rink, we're going to use a quantity of 10 2 by 12 10 foot boards and a quantity of 4 2 by 12 8 foot boards. A few extra pieces of lumber are always a good idea to utilize the extension brackets for the second story. You will also need a 2 by 4 approximately 16 inches long, preferably treated lumber, to mount the installation tool. Here are the recommended tools to build your rink. Spray paint, a Phillips head screwdriver, a 50 foot tape measure, a power driver with a Phillips tip, and a half inch end socket tip. A staple gun, a heavy mallet, some string, a line level, a carpenter square, and a yardstick. When you open your box of iron sleeks, you'll see what's included. You'll have an installation tool, screws for mounting to the board, and screws for building your iron sleeks. We have the lumber ready to go, and before we start building the rink, We'll build the iron sleeks. Separate the sleeks, pointy side down and rib side down, and line up the holes. Insert the quarter 20 screw and screw by hand. And use a screwdriver for tightening. This is how you build your installation tool. Take four wood screws from the bag that is provided with every box of iron sleeks. Line up the tool with the edge of the 2x4. Put in all four screws. Make sure it's aligned with the edge before you put the second screw in. When complete, here's how your iron sleeks and installation tool should look. Sleek is ready for assembly and the tool fits right over the top and ready to pound into the ground. Getting started by building a 20 by 46 foot rink. Now watch this video and follow these steps as we build a 20 by 46 foot rink in just a few hours. Build reference wall one, pull string taut along the length of the rough link position. Spray paint these reference lines. Lay out the land for a 20 by 46 foot rink. Roughly mark all four corners of the rink using a tape measure. Verify the slope across the high and low point and refer to the chart provided in the box to see if you will need extra components. Lay out the lumber for the first wall and start of the corners. Correct lumber list is 10, 10, 10, 8, 8. Lay out four sleeks for the seams. Lay out two corner brackets. Build first corner. Don't worry about squareness yet. Install sleeks at the seams. Build second corner. Now the reference wall is done. The rest of the geometry will come off of this wall. Build second wall, the perpendicular wall to the reference wall. Get a carpenter square and tuck it into the corner. For larger rings, look up the three, four, 
5 method. Pull a string line on the inside of the board. Spray paint. Lay out boards 10 and 10. Lay out a seam sleek. Lay out the third corner. Build third corner. Build third wall, the parallel wall, to the reference wall. Measure 20 feet from the reference wall, somewhere near the rink's opposite side, and mark. Stretch line from corner to mark. Board should be 10, 10, 8, and 8. And the final 10 board. Layout seam sleek. Install sleeks at the seam. Build fourth corner. Build fourth wall, closing the rink. Lay out final seam sleek. Move board so the rink closes nicely. Install sleek at the seam. Sleek mid board installation. Disperse according to the chart or rink builder. This may be a good time to recheck your level. Mark off mid board locations. Lay out midboard sleeks. Install midboard sleeks. If you have extra, favor the low side where the water levels will be higher. Build secondary story or puck retention if needed. Check board integrity and board gaps. Use hand and visual inspection on the sides. Mark gaps to fill with dirt with spray paint. Fill the gaps. Walk the rink. Carefully walk the rink looking for protrusions. Lay out the liner. Be sure and watch the weather. Just before a freeze is coming, lay out the liner and avoid a windy day. Bottom tuck the liner. Do not staple. Liner must be loose for fill up. Liner should not hold the weight of the water. That's for the ground and the walls. And the liner simply isn't impermeable. Fill the rink. Start hose at the high point, low water side so that the water will travel to the low point, the high water side. This will help keep the liner weighed down because the water will accumulate in puddles. After you have a minimum of three to four inches of water in the rink, reach in again and tuck in the liner. Now you can staple the liner. When to skate. After three or four days in the low 20s and upper teens, an adult should always walk the rink. If water is not rushing up the side edges, it may be skatable. Take your time. A skate through the ice can mean game over.